Hello and welcome to this edition of Back in History. In this edition, we present to you what Femi Adesino wrote in his book about Namdi Kano. Femi Adesino served as special advisor, media and publicity to President Muhammadu Buhari of Nigeria from 2015 to 2023. And by virtue of his office, he had the privilege to sit in and listen to conversations between the president and most of his guests. At the end of his appointment, he wrote a book titled Walking with Buari. The book, which is published by Safari Books Ibadan, was launched in early 2024. Welcome to this edition of Back in History. Nam Kano is from Abia State and is known for his agitation for the actualization of an independent nation for his people. During Buari's administration, he was arrested abroad brought back to Nigeria and kept in detention and was never released by the said government. His arrest, detention and trial then led to the suspension of critical activities in the southeastern states of Nigeria. In particular, schools, markets and other activities are prohibited on Mondays in the East and on the days that Namde Kano's case is listed for mention or for hearing in court. This singular policy has become worrisome to most Igbo leaders. A decision was then taken to seek a mediatory approach towards the resolution of the issues. Highly respected Igbo leaders were then selected to meet with President Buhari at the presidential lodge and appeal to him to consider the release of Namde Kano with a view to restoring peace and normalcy to the east. A meeting was secured with the president on 21st November 2021, and the delegation of highly respected Igbo leaders arrived at Sorog on time for the meeting. The delegation was led by Chief Mbazulike Oamechi, a first Republic Minister of Aviation, who at the time of the meeting was 93 years old. Also in the delegation were His Excellency Chukwe Mekai Zeife, former governor of Old Anambra State, Bishop Sonde Onoha of the Methodist Church, Chief Barista Godi Huazurike, former president of Akai Kenga, and Mr. Tabo Mbazulike Amechi. There were also government ministers and senior aides of the president of Eastern Extraction in attendance at the meeting. After the exchange of pleasantries, the delegation presented their sole demand to the president, namely the release of Namde Kano. The 93-year-old chief Amechi took to the microphone and spoke for and on behalf of the delegation. At page 300 of Femi Adesino's book, the speech of chief Amechi on this occasion has been captured as follows. Quote, I served in the First Republic as a minister, and since then, I have never lost interest in Nigeria. I believe in the oneness of this country. I had a series of meetings with President Shehu Shagari and Chief Sonda Awoniyi in the Second Republic. We fashioned out the National Party of Nigeria, the NPN, whose policy was One Nigeria, just like the NCNC. I believe in one big country which would play a big role in Africa where the component parts will be treated with equity and fairness. At 93, I don't travel again. I buried my wife just two weeks ago. Traditionally, I should not go out till after 28 days, but I'm here now. What is happening in the Southeast is painful and pathetic. Let us find a solution. Violence and force from either side is not the solution. Education is crumbling. People do their businesses in an atmosphere of fear. Let us find a solution. The young man named Kano jumped bell, got arrested and was brought back. The matter is with the law. His predicament has affected the economy and lives of South Easterners. Every Monday, they stay at home for fear of being shot by either soldiers or IPOP boys. 
Chief Amechi continued stealing quotes. Schools, businesses, banks are closed. At 93, I am the only nationalist left, the only First Republic minister still alive. God spared me to help find a solution. Mr. President, God has spared you and you will live beyond my age in good health and strong body. I want you to be known as someone who saw Nigeria burning and quenched the fire. You have attained what anybody can attain. What is left is how you will be remembered. Let us solve this crisis. The solution is not military, but political. Mr. President, please release Namde Kanu to me. And I assure you, he will no longer say the things he used to say. On my hospital bed, I saw Ipo pulling down the statue of the great Zeke on television and I issued a statement for them to stop and they did. They ordered non-voting in Anambra in 2017. I called Namdi to my house and he reversed the order. I do not want to leave this planet without order returning to my country. We can move forward as a united country. End of quote. He then ended his speech and allowed the president to have the floor. Femi Adesina captures President Buhari's response as follows at page 301 of his book. Quote, Thank you for your interest in the stability of our country. In the past six years, I have developed a system in which I don't interfere with the judiciary. That was why in the case of Kanu, I said the best was to subject him to the system. Let him make his case in court instead of giving a terrible impression of the country from outside. I feel it is a favor to give him that opportunity. Government could have mobilized to eliminate him where he was, but we did not do that. I am actually aware of the tremendous pressure you are under. I believe God has paid you till this age and with such sharp memory for a purpose. A lot of people have your age are confused already, but God spared you. President Buhari continued stealing quote, You have made an extremely difficult demand on me as the leader of this country. The implication of your request is very serious. In the last six years, nobody will say, I have confronted the judiciary. We are a developing country and we have to go through the pains. The demand you have made is heavy. I am glad to know you closely at this time. P please accept my sympathy once again on the loss of your wife. May her soul rest in peace. End of quote. Up to the end of his tenure, President Muhammad Buhari did not release Namde Kano from detention. There is the expectation in most quarters that the current president, Bola Ahmed Chonubu, might revisit Namde Kano's detention. But at the time of the making of this video in March 2024, Namde is still in detention. The sit at home continues in the east every Monday and on such days that Namde is taken before the court for trial thanks for watching this edition of back in history and do remember to subscribe to this channel or follow the page for regular notification on every new video